Hey, Alexi and Ryan. My name is Drew Garner. I'm a 37-year-old health and physical education teacher here in Kansas City. I uh, teach at Turner High School. Uh, as you can see, today I'm filming this. Behind me is our pool. I teach swim class uh, two hours out of the day and then health science classes uh, the rest of the day. So health science is a program that I started here at the high school. Uh, it's for kids that are interested in becoming uh, medical professionals either uh, later on in life after college or right after high school. Uh, one of the cool things that I started is our healthcare careers or health science pathway. Uh, it's a list of classes that they're able to take uh, and then senior year they're able to go over to uh, Kansas City, Kansas Community College and take college courses and become a certified nurse's assistant or a certified medical aide straight out of high school. Uh, a little bit more about me, I got married in 2013. Uh, I have two kids, going to be seven and going to be four uh, this April. And me and my wife are both health and PE teachers, love teaching about uh, fitness and educating our youth about uh, the benefits of physical activity and just general life and how to be a healthy. About my athletic background, I played high school baseball, ended up, was uh, lucky enough to get a college scholarship and was a pitcher. Uh, so graduated college in 2005, uh, was working out for, I don't know, a year or so, just lifting weights, got kind of bored uh, of that, and my dad told me that I should do a marathon. Um, now at that time, I told him he was crazy, basically. Why would I want to do that? furthest I'd ever ran up to that point was seven miles, I believe, um, for training for college baseball, and the thought of running a marathon was daunting. Um, so in 2007, I read an article about a sprint triathlon, uh, thought it sounded cool. It sounded like something I could do, 500 meter swim, basically I had to teach myself how to properly swim, um, a 13 mile bike ride, figured I could sit on a bike long enough to do that, and then a three mile run. Uh, so after that, I really kind of liked uh, triathlon. Uh, was lucky enough to be able to participate in, in it until 2010. Uh, and then once I got married and had kids, you know, I just kind of exercised for fun. Uh, my bike rides ended up depleting quite a bit. Uh, furthest I rode at any given time was probably seven miles at once uh, to the park or to the splash, splash pad or uh, on a trail, local uh, paved trail by our house. Uh, so just exercise for fun, ran, lift weights, taught swim class. Um, you know, the, the thing that is, interests me and excites me about the challenge of Leadville 100 kind of started in 2009, I believe it was, when uh, the movie Race Across the Sky came out with Lance Armstrong in the uh, Leadville 100. When I watched that, I thought it was one of the really cool events that I would love to eventually do someday um, as kind of a bucket list event. Um, but the challenge of 100 miles in the altitude on a mountain bike, it's not a road bike, uh, it's a lot slower paced. Um, for me, that's intimidating. You know, that's something that would be a, a lifetime goal of mine uh, when this movie came out. And so when I started teaching health classes here at the high school, um, we talked about SMART goals and I had our students create SMART goals. Uh, they would do a short-term and long-term goal for both academics and health, and we would brainstorm and come up with five for each box, uh, and Leadville was always one of those ones that I put in my long-term goals for health. Uh, we talked about what Leadville was, I explained to them what it was, I said it'd be something cool to do. Never thought I would actually have the opportunity to do something like this, though. Um, so we explained SMART with them, uh, specific, measurable, realistic, attainable, and timely. We break down all the events, uh, and I did that with Leadville. I said, you know, for a training, I would have to do X, Y, Z over this lifespan of amount of time. 
Um, I kind of just used it as a teaching tool, never thinking that I would actually get the opportunity for something like this to happen. Um, that's what excites me about it and, and the challenge of potentially being able to participate in an event like this. Um, so what about the sport is intimidating to you? 100 miles in the mountains, that's one very intimidating. Um, I'm six foot two, 200 pounds uh, to 210 pounds, give or take. So I'm not the fastest uh, cyclist. I do it for fun. Uh, I really love being out in nature, seeing different scenes uh, and taking on different challenges. You know, having the opportunity to uh, just even submit my name into a pool to be drawn out for the Leadville 100 uh, is super scary uh, and surreal at the same time knowing that I could be a winner. If I was, I know there's a lot of stuff that goes into that with the training and you know being in the sport of cycling um, is pretty it's it's pretty uh, intimidating you know the thing that's holding me back really uh, is just doing it um, you know I've, I've I've done some events and triathlons I played college baseball uh, I know what it takes to get and reach your goals I love helping others find their passions uh, towards life and. Uh, you know, their route towards happiness and staying healthy and fitness. Um, so that's what really excites me about getting this opportunity. Being able to potentially uh, be a finisher of the Leadville 100 would be an absolute dream goal of mine. Um, and I hope I'm lucky enough to be chosen uh, to participate in this. Thanks, you guys. I really appreciate what you do in your sports and trying to reach out and get grow the uh, grow the sport and get people healthy and happy.